I have liver than live. All right. Do my typical setups. You should be good to go. <laughs> I keep losing a random subscriber. I don't know who the heck it is. Like I'll hit 337 and then like the next day I'll be at 336. I'll be at 337 again. Then back at 336. Just all over the place, my man. All right. So. Good video. Just burped. See. <clears throat> also, I can't see the chat right now, so just give me a second while I do this. Put my thumbnail. Boom. Hit save. Make sure this is working. Uh, go back. Look here. Welcome, Jade. Welcome, Jade. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah. Just give me a second. I'm doing my typical setup where I change the name of the stream and all that cool stuff. So, and I'm also going to post the links, obviously. So give me a second. Okay. Okay. So put it here. Make sure this is working. Boom, boom, up, up. You still there, Jade, by the way? Sorry, this, this takes me like five minutes to do usually. Okay, here we go. Here we are, there. 
There, there. Oh shit, okay. There, there, there. Boom, boom, boom. Bada bing, bada bang. Grab that real quick. Down, 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 down. Oh, that's what happened, isn't it? Okay. Cool. All right, no worries. Take your time. No worries. Of course I am. Can't seem to type tonight. So at some point, I am going to walk away here in like the next couple of minutes to go eat some food real quick because uh, there's some pork chops and some potatoes that I have my name on them. All right, should be good to go. Hopefully we get a couple uh, couple bites tonight, a couple nibbles on the old, you know, old line out there. So Jade, you seemed like you really enjoyed that uh, that video I sent you. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Sorry, my family's like laughing and being loud in the other rooms. It's kind of a little distracting. Let's see, there's got to be some quests I could do. <gasps> okay. So I want to go to here. Stagecoach to Ansberg. Am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay. I wonder if I can go to Ansberg from here. I want to do this side quest. You're going to like it. It's a good one. If it's what I think it is, at least. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. I need to clean my guns. Watch this. See that? So you can, uh... Look at it. It's all messed up right now, though. <clears throat> so we're going to clean the gun real quick. There we go. Oh my god. Could they laugh any fucking louder? Holy shit. I'm glad, glad they're enjoying themselves, though. <laughs> You heard it too? Was it that loud? Yeah, it's really fucking loud. Like, holy shit. They're watching a TV show and they're just laughing so goddamn loud, man. Okay, so that one's good. This one's good in condition. Ooh! Oof! How is the condition on this one so low? Okay, look at this. Watch this. This is how you clean a gun, apparently. Look how. So look at the barrel. Look how dirty the barrel is. I'll even aim it, so, yeah. So if you look at the barrel, you're going to see it looks all dirty. It has dirt on it, so I'm going to clean it. And just watch. Watch all that dirt just disappear. Apparently, that's all you do to clean the gun. Cool. I should probably just go to a gunsmith and do it. That's yep. what I've been doing for the most part, but if I knew my gun was dirty, I would have freaking did something about that. Every fucking time. Every time they ask me. It's a good way to clean the outside, but you have to clean the inside too, man. Okay, we're going to get to where that quest marker is. And I'm going to go eat my pork chop real quick. And then, yeah. So like whenever I work late like I did tonight, it's a good thing sometimes, but it's also a bad thing. It was a good thing because, as you know, Jade, we stayed up till like five o'clock last night, so I needed that I needed that extra sleep. But even on top of that, I hate getting off so freaking late because it's just like, ugh. It makes it harder to get viewers too, especially when you're streaming. Sometimes you get a lot of viewers around this time, but it's like you really have to gamble. I kind of more recommend if you're going to uh, stream. Like later at night, I would say like start around like nine or ten. That's usually when you actually get the more like the most people. So. There, boy. 
Yeah, I was surprised by how many viewers I had last night. I was like pretty crazy. What did you think of that last mission, by the way? With the freaking blimp and stuff like that? Which, we can do the follow-up one here in just a little bit. I just want to make sure I knock this uh, side quest out of the way, because it's actually pretty cool. I know you already know the ending of this game, but the ending isn't technically the ending. Well, you already know what happens, because Okami spoiled it for you. You take over as another character, essentially, and I'm going to go lay the groundwork for whenever I play as that character. So... Yeah. I know, dude. I felt so bad for the guy. He's like, oh my gosh, man. I just felt so bad when that happened to him. This day is nearly over. Okay. So I need to go figure out. Good evening. Dog. What are you doing? My dog's leaning up against me now. There's a reason they call this game Red Dead Redemption. So, let's see. I need to go to Ansberg. Let's see. Can I... I don't know if the map is in here. If it is, that would be very helpful. Some reunion, huh? Well, at least you're alive. So what now? So... You got a couple of days to work that out. Nope, no map. Okay, I guess we'll just go to the nearest town and just hello, take a freaking stagecoach. Well, hello hey, there, boy. partner. I'll lead you to it. All right. All righty. <laughs> yeah, I was planning on eating that pork chop before I started my stream, but I cooked it and it was just way too hot. I'm like, well, crap. <laughs> I don't think I should wait. Uh, we won't do that mission right now. We'll do that one in a second. I want to go knock out this side quest real quick. Okay. But yeah, it's always funny whenever people spoil stuff like Okami did, because it's like they spoil like the biggest part of the game, and they're like, "But it's, it's been out for years. You should know this by now." It's like not necessarily, you know. Like they get so defensive, it's just like, "Ah, you let something slips, whatever." <laughs> it's like they gotta go into damage control I don't like isn't that funny how people do that like even I do that sometimes like oh shit okay let's see so we're going to go to the nearest stagecoach and see if I can just go to Ansberg oh wait there's a quest right here idealism and pragmatism for beginners so we're no longer near Saint Denis anymore so that's kind of a long ride. At least he's not coughing yet. But yeah, the reason this part of the game is... It's not hard, it's just annoying because... If you see, as I told you before, if you look at like the little three symbols in the bottom left of the screen when I'm playing, they have the inside. Like you'll see, like the heart will start going down. Has like the heart will be white, but like it'll be kind of empty. So those those are called the cores. So as long as those have white in them, you know, they're not like complete, like red or complete, like completely empty. Then you'll regenerate whatever stat that is. So you'll regenerate health, regenerate your stamina, regenerate the dead eye. Well, at this point in the game, problem, you huh? always, like, it just sucks because the cores, dude, they must go, like, freaking, like, three times faster than usual. It's Dang, ridiculous, it's man. Course. Okay. Let's see how far I am. But yeah, I bet you the food's about to be ready here in just a second. Okay. Dog. I know I love you too. I love you too. It's all good. You got a problem with me? Also, I think once I eat, I'll be like in a lot more talkative mood because I'll be like, ah, oh, finally. Not, I'm not like hungry, hungry right now, but like I should eat, you know? That kind of situation. All right, so I can. I think I hitched my horse to this post right here. Can I? 
Eh, whatever. Okay. Who the heck is this? Let me see how my cores are looking right now. Yeah, so you see the Deadeye core? Like, I filled that up all the way last night, and it's already back down. Okay. Uh, we will eat some candies. Here we go. <coughs> really? Really, Arthur? Okay. Other side, I guess. Also, Jade, you can join the voice chat if you want to. It's completely fine. Might also help me warm up a little bit. Get a little more talky talky. And you don't have to worry. I will be I will be watching the, the actual chat itself. So. Alright, so I'm gonna go eat this pork chop real quick. Just give me a second. Hello, Arctic. I'm just gonna go eat this pork chop and these potatoes real quick. Should take me like no more than five minutes tops. I'm assuming it's gonna take me like maybe like three. I don't know. We'll see. But just give me a moment or several moments while I go eat this food. Um, also, so you know, just so you all know, guys, you can do uh, exclamation point like. And they'll tell Nightbot to, hey, put up a message to tell people to like the video like that right there. So anyways, I'll be right back. Just give me a like, few minutes to go eat this food real quick. Uh, if anybody joins the chat, man, if y'all don't mind, interact with them. Keep them here. You know, tell them I'll be right back.
All right. Hopefully that was fast enough. All right. You ready for me to do this quest, guys? Good, good, good. If y'all are ready, just let me know. And we can get right into it. All right. Talk, move back, 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 back. Still here, Arctic? I think I can go to this door. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes, please, uh, Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to <laughs> government, democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Yeah. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No, I... I'm sorry. Uh, Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me, but... Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. It would be ridiculous killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Interesting. Ouch, Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. Oh. So, so perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet the little <laughs> professor shit. Damn, dude, that's funny. That is funny, man. Face and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. A little bit of a power play there. He's using my actual real name. Just let me know he knows who I am. Mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. Why do I, I have said, to always drive? Man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, also, welcome, Daniel. French had a monopoly on air guns, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have truly brought democracy. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba boom. All right. Let's keep going. Working for the oh, la, la. oh, shit. I'm sorry, buddy. I've never played this mission before, democracy. so. Working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. The gallery is just up ahead. <clears throat> there, Mr. Arthur. There. No. What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. Oh wow, he 
Approach officer ship face. Gotcha. Professor? Excuse me. Oh. Hello? The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a <coughs> lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now, I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again. Oh gosh, I don't want to beat him. Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. <laughs> I relent. I relent. Good. That was close. Did you see that? <laughs> I, I was like, I thought like, oh, threaten. So hold triangle to threaten. It's like, no, I started choking. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to kill him. He's just doing his job. Do I actually have to do this? There. You see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please <laughs> do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. That was easy. <laughs> so I guess I'm working for the mayor now. I wonder if, uh, because we bought, let me see. I'm going to look something up real quick, Jade. Also, did you want to join the voice chat or do you just want to stay in the chat chat? It's up to you. Uh, let's see. see <laughs> give me one second i'm still here by the way all right jade we're gonna save real quick if we can at least might not be able to nope we're in the middle of a mission so i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do jade right look at this look at this Jade, I need to know you're there. Can you hear me? Hopefully I'm not muted. Okay, cool, I'm not muted. <clears throat> I am going to show you something, Jade, that I think you're going to like. Um, so I'm just looking at what I have right now. Boom. Okay. All right, Jade. The decision is yours. What do I do? Also, Jade, I did extend an invitation. I said you can join the voice chat if you would like to. Oh, I thought you liked long hair. But, um, yeah, you can join the chat if you want to, if you think it'll make the game a little more fun for you to watch. 
might have some might be fun to have some uh, commentary. Okay, so you don't want me to drink the potion that you said Yas Queen like twenty times to get me to buy? <laughs> okay, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I guess you like long hair, but then you saw him with this hair, and you're just like, Yas Queen. <clears throat> All right, cool. Ah, uh, nobody cares about your typing. It's fine. Like, what? Like you, you act like okay. Whenever you're typing, it doesn't sound like. It just sounds like this. Like it's pretty quiet. It's just more like when it gets quiet, and I'm hearing the type. I'm like, what's going on? What you doing? What you doing there, Jade? Which is fun. It's fun and funny. So, turns out, all those pains were real after oh. all. Problem solved. Wonderful. Wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. I didn't even beat him. For this. He was hoping. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Interesting. Look at Arthur, not loot or freaking. <laughs> ah. Throwing his trash away in the proper receptacle. I can't prove it, but the bank's stealing my money. Gotcha. Can't prove it, the bank's stealing your money. Gotcha. Cool. Every time I walk out of there, my... All right, so. <clears throat> let's do another side quest. Ain't the first time. I'm so glad Arthur isn't a litterer. He didn't litter right there. Okay, there we go. You got this. The keyboard is very mechanical, so it's very clickety clackety. Mine's mechanical also. Uh, learn how to make my own electricity for the island. At least you got a keyboard. I'm using my phone. Phones still work too, Arctic. Huh? Watch yourself. Oh, so you give me a big, big hard no, huh? Oh, Jade. Breaking my heart. Breaking my heart, Jade. Please, Mr. Morgan. Hello, sister. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh. What fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead. And the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. I like her. She's cool. <clears throat> uh. 
All right, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, What's up, Mr. Derek? Morgan. How's it going, man? No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. Yo. So there's like a mission later in this game where you... How to put it? You're going to bump into a character that's going to like put stuff in perspective for you. But if you do all of her missions, it's her. If you do not do all of her missions, then it won't be her. I kind of want her because I didn't get her last time. I didn't do any of the side missions. <laughs> Let's see. Consider your good deed done for the day. Oh, thank I goodness. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Oh, you have Rainforest Cafe where you live. That's pretty cool. We have one kind of by where I live, actually. It's about like maybe like a 40 minute or 30, 40 minute drive. So there's a YouTuber that actually went around to all of the forest, uh, Rainforest Cafes in America and ate at, ate at them. Also, Jade, what do you say? Round two? Round two? <laughs> There's a couple of them, actually. Interesting. Let's see. Play Electric Lantern was this one. Oh, yeah, we're going to do this one. We're going to do this one right now. Well, ugh, Arctic told me to, man. It's not my fault. Well, anyway. I thought it was going to be funny, like, oh, let me go clean my guns real quick. I thought it was going to be funny, like, I shoot him in the balls, because I thought Arctic was saying, hey, shoot him in the balls, and he just catches it in his mouth. It's so weird. <coughs> hey, have a cow, would you? Welcome back. Come in. Watch yourself. Oh, come on. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Sweet Jesus, son of a bitch. Hey, he just picked up my head. Sorry about that. Joseph. Get back here. I think you Okay, fine buddy. Do this the fun way. Stop chasing me. What do you mean stop chasing? You got my shit. Move. You lost your mind. Uh, Give me the money. Jesus. Help. Jesus. Someone help. You son of a bitch. Turn it into a bad day for you, mister. Took, he swear. just robbed me, by the way. Me. I didn't Where's mean anything, really. Did I get my money back? Did anybody see if I got my money back? Come on, this ain't fair. Hey, I'm trying to defuse this. Son of a bit. <laughs> Dude, seriously? I hit defuse. What the fuck? Dude, this is fucking bullshit. I really don't want to cheat, bro. You're making me do it, though. God damn it, this fucking game. Okay. Ah. Should be safe over here.
That was bullshit, man. Let me do it the cool way. Cool. So now I gotta go fucking pay a goddamn bounty. Fucking bullshit. And now I don't have my horse. They're too far away. Not again. If there's a stagecoach, though, I could just do that. Is there a stagecoach? Oh, I'm like right outside. Okay. Now I gotta go pay my goddamn bounty. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. Post office. Screw it. We're not gonna watch the show. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. Oh my goodness. Fuck you, no, no. You stop, god damn it. I need a law man over here. Stop! Are you dead? Help me! Somebody! I really have to go tackle this motherfucker. Oh god, please. What's going on? You stop right now. We need the law to see this. Okay, fine. Dude, don't make me do it. Hey y'all, I need help. Oh Jesus, help me! Out of your hands now, Mister. Not one word out of me. Help! Somebody help! So we have an understanding. No, no. no. You owe me one. There we go. Stay out of my way. I gotta just stop stealing shit. <laughs> oh, I didn't steal anything, actually. You, know, you think about it, too, is like, the guy stole money from me. This is what makes this game so crazy. He stole my money. I caught him, hogtied him, and I was going to take him to the sheriff's office, and I'm the one who did something wrong. Kidnapping. Really? I'm taking him to the sheriff's office. He fucking straight up stole my money, bro. <clears throat> I'm so sad, Jade. So uh, sad you... that you don't want to talk to me. I mean, I guess I should be happy because technically you don't want to talk to me because it's like, I'm just so fun to talk to, apparently, that you just have to stay up till fucking five every time. <laughs> what the hell? I've been covered in worse, man. Hey, <laughs> you got covered in horse shit. <laughs> hey, I promise you, we'll be in bed by 2 a.m. You know what? Okay. I'll surrender. I'm through with this shit. You're mine. I've never done this before, by the way. I've never done this. This time. Okay. So. See what happens. I've never been arrested before. So I guess I did my time. $24. Oh, I actually saved money by doing that. 
Oh, but they starved me. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So we're going to eat some candy. Alright, so... Let's go to the other one real quick. And do not shoot the guy in the dick like Arctic wanted me to for some weird reason. Should be Goldie. There's so much stuff I want to show you. Alright, so I'm going to try to use the stagecoach to see if I get to that side quest. There's plenty of time to do the freaking other stuff because. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to go to Ansberg. There we go, that's an expensive ass ride. Oh, shit. Whoa! All right, so now we're in Ansberg. Oh, I remember this place. This is where we met that one woman. Mrs. Well, Downs. where we bumped into Mrs. Downs and she's uh, apparently a prostitute now. By the way, Jay, just to catch you up on the story. So the reason that Arthur Morgan has tuberculosis is he was going around to collect money because, you know, uh, one of the people in the camp is a loan shark. So like he loans out money or like exorbitant like interest rates. And so Arthur does a mission where he has to go collect money from several people. But one of the people he collects money from uh, tries to attack him with like a pitchfork or something like that. And so you beat the crap out of him because you have to. There's no way around it. You have to beat this guy. And he coughs in your face. But it turns out he has tuberculosis. So that's how Arthur gets tuberculosis. His name is Mr. Downs. Well, we met his wife. Well, he, he passed away, by the way, from tuberculosis. And earlier, I don't know if you were on the stream that it happened, but we were walking down the street. And he's like, hey, I know you. And she's like, <gasps> You! Help! Help! This man! Somebody... Something like that. She basically just called for help and just ran away, but she's essentially a prostitute right now. Because she still owes money to us. Um, yeah. So, anyways, this is the town that I bumped into her at. So. Also, Jade, you have to you have to stick around for at least one main story mission. She's mad at us because we beat the fucking shit out of her husband, and you know they're in a position they can't pay back what they owe. So she's mad. Yeah, she's kind of mad. kind of why i want you to be around when i'm playing this because it's such a good story and that's part of the like that's not like a side mission that is the main part of the game like you have to do th those missions so now there's some side stuff you can do for that that adds more context but it's pretty good mission man pretty good mission so as i mentioned before Jade, Lisa was the uh, DM of the uh, D and D campaign I was telling you about. You, you should ask her. You want to ask her some questions? Any questions for uh, for Lisa? <laughs> Do you want to fact check me and see if what I said is true? Let's see. Also, maybe y'all two might get along. I mean, so Lisa, Jade's actually uh, DMing a campaign right now, so. Hey. 
Well, I mean it from the perspective of she could probably add more context because she had more interactions with the people in the group than I did. You know, being the DM, obviously. I remember one of the things she told me was like, it kind of sucked whenever the code DM kicked me because RP basically ceased. If I remember correctly, you can correct me at least if I'm wrong, but you basically told me RP, all role playing just pretty much ceased. Yep. So. I told Jade about how everybody in the campaign had main character syndrome. What the fuck? Oh, come on. Yep. Oh, come on. You're not dead, are you? Okay, they're not dead. I think there's a correct choice here. Give me a second. Healthcare. Let me see. I think you're supposed to give whiskey. <coughs> I think you're supposed to give him whiskey. I can't remember. I'm just going to give him whiskey. Whiskey? Do you understand? Whiskey? See? Okay, cool. Lose some honor real quick. <clears throat> so the way this game works, and I'm sure Lisa will actually back me up on this, you'll literally hit like the little uh, gallop button twice and your horse will just take off in whatever direction you're facing and you'll run into shit. So... My situation was like, God, I got off the horse. I was trying to run up the hill, but he couldn't make it up. It's like, fuck, I need my horse. Thank goodness that, uh, yeah, I could make it up the hill with the horse, or I've got it high enough. Come on, boy. Okay, so. I've got things to attend. Don't slow me down. Okay. We doing this? Oh yeah, by the way, everybody, hit the like button if you're enjoying the video so far. It really helps out a lot. Also, hello to everybody in the chat that's lurking. Love y'all guys as well. Okay, so I want to give my horse something to bring back their health core. Oh, I need to just feed him, I guess. Just give him okay, a carrot. Boy. Lisa, we both know that's a fucking lie. You literally were telling me about how good you were. You, you literally told me about how you stopped running into trees and within 10 seconds ran into a fucking tree on stream. <laughs> you were talking about how you're so good at not hitting trees now and you ran into a fucking tree. I was just like this. Oh my God, it was so good. It's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. 
What a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. Interesting. Interesting. I think, okay, because I think if you have low enough honor, you can choose to help her or not. I think because my honor is so high, it's like I have to help her. Like, he's just going to do it no matter what. That's crazy. Right? That's cool. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. Oh, no. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But... I, I don't even have a knife. There. Look. Oh. <laughs> Why did it run away? I'm like, well, up here, like, oh, cool. I got to go, like, inspect this real quick. The freaking animal's just right there. Good shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight. And pull the skin away, quickly. Should come right off. Oh, oh. damn. Holy crap. It, it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. <coughs> that should keep you fed for a few days. She just leans right over his shoulder. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source remote but you can survive here all right i have no doubt that one can survive here whether charlotte balfour can is a different matter entirely you've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors oh a lot of it that's for sure i barely left the city before coming here cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents lodge in maine but i get the impression they did more punting than hunting right Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Oh. Whoa.
You see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Yeah, you should definitely learn how to use it. God dang, look at my freaking dead eye court. You gotta be kidding me, man. This is bull poo poo. Come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred. So I guess I'll just tell you what happens, Jade. Not like at this point, but you there's a certain I think if your honor is like low enough, you have the option to say yes to help her or just walk away. And what ends up happening is later in the game, you just come back and she's just dead on the floor of her house because she's starved to death. Steps back. So people always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. <coughs> oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. So, it's Chicago you came from? That's right. Have you been? Yeah, I've passed through a couple times. Business or pleasure? Business, you could say. Banking, mostly. Oh, really? Cal was in banking, too. Uh, I doubt we crossed paths. I was more on the withdrawal side. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> You're teasing me. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that is funny. More on the withdrawal side because he'd be robbing the banks. That's funny. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet if you'll forgive the pun <laughs> please do call again sometime though a good rest and hopefully i'll be a new woman you take care man that is interesting though because you can legitimately i think because my honor is so high like just the, he's he's just not going to say no like i don't have the option because I think what happens originally is if my honor is like more neutral or like low or high, she gives you like the sob story and you could like choose to just walk away. That's interesting. Boy. Okay. We doing this? I think we're going to do this. So I need to... Bet you least like me to do this mission. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Chad disconnected. Okay, successfully reconnected. Gotcha. That was weird. Can y'all hear me, by the way? Am I coming through? So I want to come down to here, but the best way to get there is to go through... Where is it? So I need to go here and then back to San Denis. Yeah. So I have officially started that quest line. Also, Jan, I'm sorry for keeping you up so late. I don't know. 
It's always fun when you meet new people and have like fun conversations and stuff like that. Yeah. Let me do one thing real quick. Let me check my phone. Uh, shoot. Okay, go here, 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 here. And we'll grab this. This. And I'm going to send this to somebody. Hopefully they will join. That would be kind of cool. I'm going to get a drink real quick. Give me like one second. Ugh. Yeah, I'm thinking like the time I want to stay up till Jay is like 2.30 and that's where I'm going to be like, okay, that's definitely where I need to like go lay down and go to sleep. That's the typical time before I met you. Like I would typically stream till about like maybe 2, 2.30 and that's like whenever I would be like, okay, done, go to sleep. So that's my, my cutoff time. <laughs> Now, it doesn't mean that I won't still chat, but what I would do is I would chat over text because chatting over text is like a, easier to go to sleep. When you're on the phone or like on a phone call, it's kind of like harder. So, yeah, I'd be like, ah, you know, whatever. 2.30 is my cutoff time. I'll message people, whatever. But usually by that time, I turn off my lights and I'm just sleeping and or not sleeping, but I get sleepy and I just, yeah, do my thing. Excuse me. Yeah, it's one of the big reasons I hate working so late sometimes is that I really, really, really want to play a crap ton of this game. I've been very excited to show it to you. And by the way, we're very close to the end of the game, by the way. I know, I asked the doctor, the doctor didn't say, he said he couldn't find out what was wrong with me. Oh, no, that's right, I talked to the doctor, he said I have fucking tuberculosis. Alright, here we go. Let me just double check the map real quick. <laughs> Alright, so, definitely, definitely, definitely going to go back to, this is, where is this, where is this, where is this? Okay, this is actually the camp. Oh, uh, we got to go back to the camp. So the closest place to the camp is Sand and Knee. You can explore side quests first, or will you, like, die before completing? So I'm trying to do as many side quests as I can. Is Arthur the one that I'm ignoring in the top left? I can do that after, at the end of the game. Like, it's, it's always going to be there. I'm trying to make sure I do every side quest I can do while it's available because uh certain side quests are only available in specific chapters or very specific or very specific points of a chapter you know what i want to do i want to do like a DD podcast type deal well don't invite me and jade on because apparently when we start talking we fucking stay up till 5 fucking a.m <laughs> we just keep talk talk talking Oh yeah, Jade, you're going to find this kind of funny, like the choice I made. So, like I said, Lisa was the DM of our last campaign for D&D. Uh, &D. And I can't remember the whole scenario. Maybe Lisa can fill in the details. But uh, the gist of it was, 
I guess I was like trapped by a kitsune, like a kitsune woman, and I needed to escape. And so I was like, can I seduce her? <laughs> and she was telling me yesterday, Lisa was telling me yesterday that the Codium got so mad and so upset that I asked if I could seduce the kitsune. It's like, what am I supposed to do, man? I'm trapped. I'm trying to seduce her. Find an open, easy way out, you know? Seems that that might have been a nail in the coffin for me. Heaven forbid me playing as a bard tries to, to like to seduce somebody. Bards are not known for seducing, am I right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. <coughs> so we're gonna go to San Denis. I don't know, maybe Lisa can give you more details. Cause I didn't I didn't know this until yesterday. She told me like they had talked your ear off about the whole situation or something, I don't know. But <laughs> All right, here you go, friend. All right. All right, Lisa, you see, that's how you don't run into stuff immediately when you go on your horse. Unless you're in the wilderness, then it's a little bit different. So, I'm going to go to Mr. Dooch. Doochy Dooch. Doochy Dooch. Douche. What's up, CJ? How's it going? Just change your life. This guy again? Really? Can I talk to him? The facts are simple. Life yeah, whatever. Is war, and the war is between races. If you want to die, then go ahead. But I want my race. That guy. We left. I lost it. I mean, I lost it. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> really funny he is. <laughs> Hello, mister. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, <coughs> I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, my apologies, sir. I am sir. so worried. Gav! So, by the way, Jade, the guy I just talked to, he just... Wa he literally walks into random towns in the game. He's like, Gavin, Gavin, where are you, Gavin? Uh, spoiler alert, he never finds Gavin, ever. He's literally just looking for him. And even years and years in the game later, he's still looking for Gavin. So, I don't know. Might be an imaginary friend, something like that. I don't know. Well, from my understanding, Jade, I think uh, I think Lisa's actually like looking for a new group, mainly because I guess the people she's playing with just aren't really working out so much right now. Who doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom? Now you can. As this guy to my again, boy, you'll be extremely rich. This is what America was made for. The chance for the cream to rise to the top. It's time you broke your cream and not Yeah, it's one of those situations, like, man, I can't really find Gavin. Yeah, so it's like one of those situations where I guess it's like uh, they want to keep it super duper ambiguous 
because obviously there's just like a resolution like, oh, you don't have you have an answer. You know, they want to keep it like, oh, is this guy crazy? Is he actually is Gavin actually gone? So Gavin's just not in the game. So he might just be crazy. Talk about a dude that doesn't fucking exist or vice versa. I would like to try D&D &D again. I'm hoping if I can find a different group to play with, that maybe it might... It was fun the first time, but it was just stressful. Sorry, I'm listening real quick. But it was, uh, it was really fun. Like, I really enjoyed it, you know? And I was... I mean, I was, like, learning, like, the basics of it and learning, like, my moves, my character stuff. Let's see. What the hell? What is this? When a beautiful young lady ridiculed your disfigurement, <coughs> disfigurement, you murdered her in cold blood. For your awful vanity and pride, you will pay. You hey, pay all right. Oh, hey, hey, friend. As you live. Oh Lord. Any last yeah. words before the noose? That ugly bitch deserved what she got. That she deserved it. Seems it ironic, huh? Cool. Oh. I'm gonna go do the Dutch mission. Ooh, you see oh, there he goes. I heard the next snap. Damn. Cruel and abhorrent behavior will not stand in else. this country. See his legs twitching. Justice won this battle, but, but the war is far from over. All right, so. Heed these words. <coughs> I'm trying to do like one or two story missions while Jade's here. I did a couple. I did some side missions. I did two side missions. Uh, one of them I really wanted to do because it's actually really cool when you get to what's called the epilogue. It's the last one I did, but uh, yeah, now I'm focused on just doing the main story missions while Jade's still here. So, if Jade is still here, oh yeah. But anyways, like I was saying, like uh, my first experience, like so, my first time playing D&D, loved it. Super cool group. There was one person that didn't want me to be in the group. It was the son of the person who owned the house that we that they were playing at. Um, yeah, Jade, I think it's going to take more than 40 minutes to do two main story missions, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was like a 17 year old kid who, I guess he suffered from like, I guess, uh, my friend told me, Ben, who, uh, Lisa actually knows suffers, from, he suffered from, uh, I guess severe anxiety and just having another person there stressed him out. Even though nothing went wrong. It was just literally just, I guess, maybe new people. I don't know. But anyways. Yeah, my first real campaign. Not a good experience. Not a good experience at all. This just gets worse. Damn mess, huh? I mean, I've even been invited to like several campaigns and I just, it's been like a, about like a year, I think, since it ended for me. I've been invited to several and I've always just said no, but I don't know. I think after watching some stuff and like talking to some people I think it just might have just been a bad group for me you know Why? Two, three, four. you okay there working it all out once and for all Arthur mm. what now we're back and I'm sitting here and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move those oily and actors of a mediocre job. Well, you can ask Lisa about this. There was a particular person in our last, or the last campaign that was uh, not really good to play with. But even on top of that, I think all the other players kind of had some stuff that were like red flags as well. But they weren't like red flags that would just kill a campaign. Just red flags like, okay, you know, be wary of this kind of thing. Justice the Pinkertons and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, 
the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. <coughs> what do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna <clears throat> run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles. Will you ride with me? Always. I love Charles. He's fucking amazing. Past Butcher Creek. It's one for brute country. Yes. You thought Dutch was rested? No, no, no. The other person, the, the person that's rested is John Marston. Why well, I'm asking you to ride with me. I'll send you a picture of John real quick. Give me a second. Sounds like you. <laughs> All these freaking clicky clicks. He looks like this. <clears throat> Where is it? Copy image. Boom, boom, boom. Here, here, here. This guy. That's who got arrested. So, yeah. Understand. Okay. What are we doing there? <gasps> We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Wait, Kane. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. Oh, you were here for that too, right? Like, I think you kind of missed this stuff before. Like, he was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know if it's my kid. But the moment he got kidnapped, he's like, you know what? Oh, shit, we got to get him back. It's like all of a sudden stuff came to perspective for him. He was like, oh, maybe you should room with me, you know? Y'all guys should just sleep in my room, you know? We should all stick together. Let's be a family. It's very interesting. Also, yeah, you are right, allegedly. <laughs> we need Mari we need Mari in this universe. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah. I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. 
Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Isaiah. You did good getting the other. So yeah, Jade, you saw the mission where we got the kid back, but you missed the mission where we uh, killed the guy who kidnapped the kid and fed him to alligators. That was pretty fun. Push out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. Oh, shit, you missed that too. Crap. Jay, we have to play the bank heist while you're watching this at some point. You have to watch the bank heist go down. Literally, like, several people died. John got arrested. And we had to flee to fucking Guarma, which I know you saw me escape Guarma. You literally came in at the beginning of that part, so... The big thing you missed was the bank heist. Lisa, fill her in on the bank heist. Tell her about... Freaking what happened, man. There's the bridge. Yes, I am going to do the epilogue on stream because fuck you know who. Don't say the name. Okay, Lisa, it's not just people died, it's good people died. Only the good people died. Only the good people died, that's the problem. further now so I spent some time up this way while you were gone I ran into rains fall and eagle flies the Indians and I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation things are bad there uh, that's not a surprise they seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more <coughs> some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves a place called Beaver Hollow they're animals Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here... It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. Being real quiet. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Stay quiet. All right, let's get some guns. Lisa, what was your favorite guns in the game again? I can't even remember. So I like. I think I might bring. Let's see. You know what? We'll bring the Springfield, and then we'll bring the shotgun. I think I can do good with just, uh, okay. Oh, cool. Also, I did buy a semi-auto shotgun. That's pretty cool. Okay, cool. And we'll use a slug.
What are you going to stream after Red Dead Redemption 2? I honestly don't know. I'm uncertain. I have no clue. I kind of want to find something that's interesting to stream. Okay, so Arctic, I'll answer your question real quick. What I would like to do, and this is what I've been trying to do for like a year, but it's so hard to find somebody who, they don't have to be there for every single stream, but who can somewhat somewhat consistently come and like co-host with me. I want to play like an RPG, man. I want to play an RPG or something with like a really good story that we can like shoot, like can like riff off somebody else about. Uh, I bought the pistol in the top left corner. You can actually buy it. So it's at the store. I didn't get it my first time around, but I got it this time. It is called the, yeah, M1899. It's a semi-auto pistol. Ooh, I meant to switch this one out, but whatever. We'll just work. But anywho. Yeah, I'm like looking for like a competent co-host, you know, that can kind of come around like pretty, not super frequently, like not every single time. I can do it by myself, obviously, like I'm doing right now. But, you know, I just, I want to shoot the shit with people, man. I want to shoot the shit with somebody because sometimes it's hard to get an audience for specific games. And when you have a co-host, it's just like, well, I don't really care about getting the audience. I mean, I want the audience, but like, I'm not so focused on getting an audience. I'm more focused on having a good time. But also it's just like, I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back.
Let's get closer to him. Yeah, I've I've thought about several RPGs I want to play on stream. A big one that I really do love, it's my favorite game in the world, is Chrono Trigger. Possibly, but have to find somebody who'd want to like like I said, shotgun it with me and hang out while I play Chrono Trigger. But it's kinda of hard because people got crazy schedules, man. They got their stuff they got their own stuff going on. So like I said, I don't mind playing by myself for the most part, you know, occasionally. But I kinda really I kinda want this whole like uh I wanna have like a buddy buddy system. Like where I'm if I'm gonna play an RPG, I want somebody to bounce off of. Maybe somebody to help me read the, the text as well too, you know. Come on. Up this way. I actually tried to play Crunch Trigger on my channel once before with uh one of my friends. I think we got like three up three, four episodes in or something like that. Or maybe more, I don't know. We got we got a little bit in, but uh yeah, just didn't really materialize itself because I don't know, I guess they just weren't very invested in it. So But it was fun because like we would choose characters like I'm gonna do this character, this is you and yeah, it was just kinda fun. So hopefully I can find somebody else who's willing to do that. Sorry, I'm drinking right now. Right there. Boop. There we go. Say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the care? Quick, Arthur. Good job. Does anybody have anything on their mind? Anything you want to talk about? Any topics? We must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Ooh, mach I want the machete. Wait, how do I pick up the machete? Give me the machete. Yes. What? No. I want the machete. Where's the machete? Pick up machete. L1. Boom. Now I have a machete. I have a machete. I'm missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. So president sounds like a lot more fun. Ready? Let's get this over with. So nobody's got anything they want to talk about?
I'm also looting real good right now, too. I learned how to loot by watching Lisa play this game. I learned how to loot by watching Lisa play because every dead body must be looted, according to Lisa. Every dead body has something worthwhile, and you must check it. You must thoroughly check it and make sure you take everything you possibly can. Am I correct, Lisa? Yes, I know I'm correct. I know Lisa's like, fuck yeah, motherfucker. Take all the loot you can get. Don't even have to be a goblin. You could be a freaking, I don't know, a fucking fairy for all I care. You could be a fairy. You could be an elf. Whatever. You know, just, just loot the loots. All the loots. All the loots put in your inventory right now. You know? Lisa, you died during a lot of parts of this game. That's all good. We can't all be master gamers. You are sneaking really good right now. Wait. Diablo 4. Oh, come on. Why is he doing that? Okay. So there is a chick right there. Right? Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. It's on. Should I use the shotgun or the freaking... I uh, use the shotgun. Ah. Oh shit, they got machetes. That's right. Okay, they will kill me in one hit if they get too close. Let's go save her. No head now. Also, you got no head either. I really do want that torch, by the way. Come on, let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Well, hold on just a moment, just a moment. From the wise words of Lisa, we got to loot. Did he drop anything worthwhile? <coughs> loot. Jay, do you like do you like looting? Okay. Oh wait, there's a is there like an actual like special gun I can pick up right here? Okay, I'm just looting. I don't understand how you died so much when you were looting. By the way, it was, I think it was just like you were so into looting that you just kept looting when you weren't supposed to. I already have a spring full though. I got one for free. Oh, it's the torch. I dropped the torch. Okay. I'll pick it up though. All right. Hey, where are your friends? Where are your friends? It's okay, miss. <coughs> we ain't gonna hurt you. No, 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 no. Just calm down. I like how I pulled out my knife and he put his knife away and pulled out his knife to open the cage. <laughs> I have a Springfield. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're 
safe. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. She's cross-eyed. What the hell? <laughs> Is it just me? Was she just cross-eyed right there? Right? Yes. Hey. See, so, yeah, as you can see, I have the Springfield rifle, so I don't need to pick that up. Well, the thing with tuberculosis, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but eh, whatever. And this time and day and age, or that day and age of the game, they, uh, yeah. They didn't really know how stuff was spread like this, so, yeah. It's okay, miss. The others, <coughs> they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. And now they're all dead. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Like, that's what's interesting about this game, too. Is like, I'm pretty sure that the quest would be a little different if I had, like, low honor. But no matter what happens, Arthur always does the right thing, even when he has low honor. Yeah. Still there, Jade? I know you only got five more minutes before you're leaving. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Jillian, in the chat tonight. We were supposed to we were supposed to play uh, one of those games today or tonight, but they canceled on me. So. I'm trying to think of stuff to antic or anecdote about, you know, go on and rant about, talk about, but I don't know. So the thing that used to crack me up about this game too is like, so whenever you when you play this game, you go into what's called cinematic mode, which is what I'm in right now. And it was just kind of funny because obviously I've ran into stuff before in cinematic mode, but the reason I gave Lisa such a hard time, she would run the trees out of cinematic mode. She's like, really? But also like cinematic mode would just be going on. You right, guys? Cool. Cinematic mode would be going on and she would just straight up just be like heading right towards a tree and she just wouldn't move her character. I was like, ah, oh, it's easy. Come on, don't hit the trees. Trees hurt, man. Morning to you. All right. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, she's cross-eyed, man. Thank God. She's cross-eyed. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! We saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy brood guys. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. I ain't taking no money for that. I did the right thing. It's not for war for me, honestly. This is down. <gasps> oh, God. Leave me alone. Remember who I was talking about earlier, Jade? Jade, are you still there? This is who I was talking about earlier. It's her. You just leave me alone. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, so Jade's got three minutes left, guys. Three minutes. Let's see. To be honest, the whole, like, her offering me money was just like, you know what, man? While it would be nice to have a little bit more money in my pockets, doing the right thing feels better, you know? We don't need your money. I feel good enough, I feel reward enough by knowing I did the right thing. All right, so two and a half minutes now. Let's see. Hey, look, I finished the quest around the time, on? too. Okay, found a girl. I took her home. Oh, you and Mike find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah, he's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella. And... Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, George, did you miss me? Oh, okay. Jade, <laughs> make sure you stick around for this. This is a interesting cutscene. Give me a second. I'm going to grab some real quick. This is a big cutscene, actually. Like, really big for the game. Lisa, if you remember this scene, let me know. Because this is actually a pretty big scene in the game. This scene kind of gives you a little insight into what's going on. There's, 
drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you stuck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God, all my calm down. I won't be ignored. Dot Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross <coughs> about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on oh, me. You you're not so big now, me. Are you? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You're not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Oof! <laughs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. <coughs> You're lollygagging. Get back to work. Yeah. Like I told you before, that woman is trigger happy. <laughs> see, what we got it here. Let's see if there's anything I can. Oh wait. Where are they? There's an argument going on. I gotta find it, guys. Where's the argument? To the left or my right? You sour faced old crow. God damn there it. Is. Murder. Ah, it's all Murder. That. Morning, Arthur. <coughs> she's in a bad way. She don't know what she's saying. <coughs> this is hitting everyone hard. In different ways. I don't know. Well, try to keep your head straight. Well, I suppose. So you think... You think Dutch has lost his <coughs> mind, Arthur? I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Mike, Bill. He says a whole <coughs> lot. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. All right. I'm worried about you. No, go away, Arthur. Okay. Just want to make sure you're all right. <coughs> okay. Yes, I'll leave you to it then. Okay, Arthur. It's just interesting because, like, the further in this game you get, Arthur. you get more information about what actually happened. And it's like that scene is just like, wow. It was like super short, but like there was so much stuff that we didn't know at the time. It's crazy. You okay, Tilly? Molly <coughs> got what she deserved, nearly got us all killed. Yeah, she knew the rules. Okay, guess I'll see you later then. Don't know what to do with myself around here. Okay, so there's another thing I could give over here, maybe. 
That's what those are. Nice. <gasps> Please tell me I have the, what he wants. No! Are you gonna be okay, Jack? Yes! Can I go play in the caves? <coughs> no. no. I ain't safe in there. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure, Uncle Arthur. Really, there's no cutscene for giving him the storybook you wanted? Mr. Morgan? You okay, Reverend? Yes. I will say a prayer for Miss O'Shea. Say a prayer for all of us. <laughs> so, by the way, Jade, this is the last mission of the main game. There is an epilogue, as you probably heard earlier. This is the last actual, like, chapter. Not mission, sorry. Chapter of the actual game. So, yeah. We're basically at uh, the back door, or the ending door. Obviously, there's more of the game to play, for reals. This chapter actually takes a little while to do, but okay. you know. Yes, I'll leave you to it then. This is the last camp we have, so. <clears throat> okay, so. Would you be against me? Okay, okay. Jade, I'll tell you what. Can we make an agreement real quick? And I will preface this by saying, if this quest is exactly what I think it is, please stick around to the end. I'm going to go do this quest. Wait, what? who is this? Who is this? Edith. Down. Oh, no. Fucking hell. Shit. Fuck. I got to go do this one, man. So you know how last night like we went up in the hot air balloon? This is the next part. I really want to do two more missions. I'm going to do... Okay, can I make an agreement with you? I will do that one side mission up there and do the, the, the yellow one, and then boom, we're done. No more talking tonight. Stream's over. Done. Oh, my God. Shit. <laughs> yeah, so... The agreement we're going to make right now, and this is me on stream saying I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up here and do this one because I do not want to miss out on this because that's actually kind of an important mission. It's a side mission, but it either downs, like I said, this is downs, and then we'll go do this one. And if I lollygag at all, you could be like, fuck you, Alkin, I'm done. <laughs> Listen, what I'm saying is like, 1.30 is a good place to stop it. And there's two quests that I want to do, and I want you to see both quests. And I'm like, yes, the moment you leave, I'm done streaming this for the most part, unless I'm like in the middle of the mission. Like, you leave the middle of the mission. I want to finish the mission. But anyways, I'm going to go see Mrs. Downs real quick. Um, does that sound slightly, agree slightly agreeable? I do this mission. Real quick, and then I go and I do the main story mission, which is the follow up, like the follow up to the uh, blimp mission we did last night. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go do the Mrs. Downs mission, but two missions. I'm not gonna fuck around. Literally, just straight to the mission. But if you can't, I completely understand as well. Also, obviously, I'm not trying to like pressure you to do anything. <clears throat> I'm just worried if I go do like the main mission, that side mission is going to disappear because that's what happened last time. <coughs> oh hell! Don't worry, Jade. I'm going to avoid all the trees I can. <laughs> Any tree I run into, I'm going to blame Lisa. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, let me just go. What the shit? Why did that pop up all of a sudden? Seriously? Oh my god. Well, fuck it. Eat it down. So whatever. We could just do that. Fuck it. Those two missions. This fucking game is enticing me so much. <laughs> Can I please just giddy up and go? Javier? Dude, I'm, I'm literally... There we go. Oh, shit. Watch out for trees. Watch out for trees. Ah. 
Hey, did you see that? You see what I did there? Ran in between the trees. Okay, so let me get my gun out real quick. Uh, semi-auto and just, I don't know. We'll just use the this one. What the hell do these guys want? Why don't you fellas let him go, huh? Taking this one in, stay out of our way. All right. Well, I got shit to do. Sorry about that, buddy. So what I'm hoping is that, well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive that the Leopold Strauss mission, the other white one that just randomly popped up at camp after I made that yep. proposition, <laughs> will be there when I'm done with the main story mission. If it's not, then fuck it, whatever. I want to see the Mrs. Downs thing because it's kind of sad, man. Her husband's dead, man. So do that, and then we're going to do that because that's what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to be a man of my word. Uh, let me go into cinematic mode. Hopefully, I don't hit no trees. Let's see. Hey, don't worry about it, Arctic. It's completely fine. As long as I see your face, you know, eventually, it's all good. Do not feel obligated to come here. I don't want you to come here because you feel obligated. Uh, obligated. I want you to come here because you actually enjoy watching the streams, which I'm sure you do. But don't feel obligated like you have to come to every single one of my streams. You got something going down? It's all good, man. We all have lives. We all have stuff going on. You know, IRL. We have family matters, other things. And yeah, you're not <laughs> required to come here, obviously. But also, don't feel bad if you can't make it. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. I mean, you can ask Jade here. What are you doing story, huh? She's. I met her through a guy who's called... Well, I call him KTD. KTD, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I've missed multiple of his streams, but he doesn't ever hold against me. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. Guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think. Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See... Women don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. So it's interesting because her husband gave him tuberculosis, but he also like uh, beat the shit out of him. But also on top of that, like he's seen that. Oh crap. He's basically starting to say like, oh, we're like taking money from people who actually like really need the money. And they're not robbing like we're doing predatory loans, you know, like the whole like fucking 2007, 2006, 2005 bullshit. So anyways, that's just what's going on right now. So we're going to go rescue our son real quick. Dude, don't poop there. Oh my god. Oh, my fucking horse is pooping everywhere. Okay. I just want to do this mission, and then the next one is literally the story mission, and then I'm done for the night. That's what I said. I'm going to stick to it. 
maximum bonding. My horse likes me as much as my dog likes me as well. That's awesome. So Jade, what's your favorite animal, by the way? If you don't mind me asking. Like, what's your go-to? Somebody's like, hey, if you had an animal that like you wanted to see at a zoo, and is only allowed to be one animal, what would you say? Hey boy! <laughs> hey boy, your mom's a whore, little boy. Be quiet, Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mom's a whore. That's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to? Why don't you shut up? Oh, all right. Oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Uh, can't even fight your own battles down? Uh, uh, hands off me. Uh, uh, you just made a... Oh, this is bullshit! Oh, this is bullshit. Okay, I killed him. Oh, God. Let the boy go. Let him go. Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Damn. Okay. So that mission's over. So as I said earlier, I went and I basically beat the shit out of his dad because he owed us money. He coughed on me. I got tuberculosis. Now I'm saving the fucking kid because maybe, I don't know, maybe in Arthur's mind, maybe this might make up for it. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. So let's go do the Dutch mission and then we should be done. Or sorry, Sadie mission. Sadie mission. This one's a good one, by the way, if it's what I think it is. Unless we're procuring a boat. I hope. Oh, no. She procured the boat for us. So this is going to be the fun mission. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Shit. How do I get over there? Okay. 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 <gasps> yes. Jade, you're going to like this mission. Trust me. This is going to be another good cliffhanger. <coughs> but it's going to be cliffhanger with, like, a good ending. Um, thanks to, uh, so we are going to see her again in a different town. No, we're going to see her in this town again. The, obviously the quest isn't going to pop up. You have to wait, I guess, like an in-game day or two or something like that. But yes, trust me. So what just happened right now, I, I think it's a side mission, but I think it's also like a main mission. I don't know. I did it last time. I only did mainly main missions last time I played this game. Uh, let me just make sure we're good. How close are we? Oh yeah, we're we're close enough. Yeah, I'll be there in like maybe like two three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Also, I really do appreciate this, Jade. <laughs> this whole like, uh, hey, I got to get off at of this certain time. Like, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, fine. Let's just do all the good stuff now. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. This isn't me, Jade, okay? This isn't count. This doesn't count. This is not me. This is the West. Come on. Be a kid. That fun's gonna start. 
Where the heck are you know what? Screw it. Pistols. Boom. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna get killed real quick because they're gonna keep chasing me. Okay, so I need my actual rifle. Sorry, I don't mean to like get in a fight, like they literally just jumped me, so. Oh shit, okay. Dude, really? Dude, just die already, man. Oh shit, okay. Um. Okay, I guess I can put this back on. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you better not be dead. Oh, they shot my horse. No, 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 no. Okay, um. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, I got some. Oh, wait. Okay, horse, 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 horse. Okay. Horse reviver. Boom. There you go, boy. Dude, fuck you. Fucking shoot my goddamn fucking horse, motherfucker. Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You forgot I'm a protagonist in this fucking game? Okay, cool. Hey, fuck you and your fucking horse shooting bullshit. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, no. You don't get to run away. Fuck you and your fucking horse cone bullshit. Oh my god. At least my horse didn't fucking die. Jade, you've watched this channel just enough to know that uh, boops need to be given, okay? <laughs> ah, I don't know. I got I got trigger happy. I wanted to I wanted to do some justice. Get rid of some bad people in the kingdom. Yeah, to be honest, Jade, like, I completely understand what you're saying. I agree with you 100%. Now, 1, 1 a.m. is a little bit early for me. As I said, usually I, I used to go to sleep around... Okay, wait, what the fuck? No. Okay. Oh, we're, we're running through here. Okay, cool. I was like, what the hell? I didn't choose that. <clears throat> usually I would go to sleep around, like, 2, 2.30. Like, that's when I would, like, get my streams, usually. So, anyways, we're going through here. We're going to the main story quest. We're going to go rescue John Marston. Do we were talking about it earlier? That's the next mission, by the way. So, and it's a good one. It's good. It's good. So, and as promised, as promised. Okay, I don't want to go too fast and fall off a cliff. As promised, that's the last mission I'm going to do for the stream, and I'm done for the night. So. Yes, I love the horse. All I can love this horse. This is a good, good horse. Lisa, shut the fuck up. Don't tell what happens later. <laughs> How you doing, boy? Easy, boy. <laughs> You're All right, should boy. be almost there. This mission's actually like, really fun. Okay. Hey, have a good night, Battle Puppet. Sleep well. We're going to do this mission real quick and call oh, it a night. Sir, just in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. You know what? I'm on a schedule, so I'm sorry. Usually I'd help you, but... Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I would help you if I had more time. <laughs> He's probably going to steal my horse anyways. What the fuck? Somebody follow me? There's like a red dot on my freaking map. Okay, cool. <clears throat> How do you know he's going to rob me? You, you've seen that before. We're like, hey, stop, sir. Stop, sir. 
to be honest, I actually should have probably let it happen because I have Max bombed my horse. So the moment he took my horse, I just had to go whoosh, like whistle and my horse would just buck him off and I just kill him. <laughs> yep. All right. You ready? The thing is, Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's going to be. Let's... All right, Jilly. Good news. This is exactly the mission I thought it was. Yeah, so this is exactly the mission I thought it was. This is good. We're going to go save John, John Marston. And IE, or I guess John. Okay, so this is Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a prequel. Red Dead Redemption 1 stars John Marston. Yay. He's the main character of the first game. So, yeah. Let's walk up. Valid. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happy. <coughs> Arthur Taylor. Taylor Wood. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't Good point. Good point. Well, why ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. Also, I do want to emphasize, like, this woman that I'm, like, on the quest with, she really has no incentive to do this. She's just doing it out of the kindness of her heart, honestly. It's basically, when it comes down to it, Arthur is the one that really, like, who really, really, really wants to do it. But she wants to do it, too, because she's just a kind person. The place is surrounded by Marsland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners probably okay. be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marston? <laughs> also, I'm sorry, Jade. Just this one quest and we're done for the night. Okay, bring us over. I would say you never have to speak to me again, but I really hope you do speak to me again. All right. <coughs> we good? Okay. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Head for the watchtower. I'm not muted, am I? Cool. Okay, you got this. Whew. You still here, Princess Evil? Also, I'm sorry, I forgot to say welcome. Are you still here? <laughs> Princess Evil, can I, can I? I'm gonna say something real quick. That's not a knife. Now that's a knife. Let me show you. Okay, there we go. Holy poo poo. All right. Where's. Okay, so. Same auto shotgun. We'll just drop the Springfield for this. Boom. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. So what do you think, by the way? Jade, what do you think so far? God damn it! Okay. Was my dead eye. Let's refill that shit real quick. God fucking damn it. Okay. You know what? Just straight up dead eye. I need dead eye right now. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more dead eye. I don't know. Anyways, so boop. Oh come on. Okay, you're dead. John. 
Well, let's go over and <laughs> see. Okay. Come on. I think one of you... his bones was still moving. What do you mean that it's John? What the fuck? Oh, come on. Okay, so the main reason I pause is that there's no side tone, meaning like, okay, so when I'm speaking, I can't hear myself. So what I do is I play the game and I talk and then I pause it and I take one of my earphones off so I can hear myself. So I'm not like, ah, oh, slurring my words or speaking too loud or too soft, or whatever. That's why I keep pausing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, I'm pausing. Also, let's see some food real quick, just to be safe. Um, you know what? Screw it. This one. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, yeah. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? He ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Give me one second. Uno momento. Sorry. And boom, we're back. Oh, up, we're back back. Your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, oh no you don't. No you didn't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> now why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm done. So, where do we hey, go? She's pretty chill. Towards the end. That's really chill of her to say that. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson, who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exact and bottom at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're, they're not going to let you do this. Well, that's going to be up to you, my friend. Woo! You still there, Jade? <laughs> the mission's almost over, by the way. We're like so, over halfway you past a it. Popular employee, my friend. <laughs> Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. So as you remember, we we, we were. I'm gonna pause it because he's talking. I don't want to talk over him we did the whole balloon thing to look at this place now we're coming for john that's what's going on about this pool guess we'll see we're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless don't shoot shut up Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now! <coughs> Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in Sunday. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. <laughs> 12. 12. 13. Faster. 14, 15, 16. Now hurry up! Well, 
this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey. Hey. John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go! <laughs> That was a dick shot. Definite dick shot. Really? Fine, I should have bought my fucking rifle rifle. Oh wait, I do have a scope rifle. Was that you in the balloon? Yeah. Believe me, that was my one and only time flying. Oh wait, oh shit. Oh wait, I do have a fucking shotgun though. Oof! Oh fuck yeah. Um I'll do shells for now. Hells yeah! Ow! Oh, come on! Okay, go! Go, 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 go! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. God damn it. Uh, I really wish I had my fucking bolt action, or my repeater. Okay. Uh, Retry checkpoint. I'll get it this time, sorry. Okay, today's your lucky day. We'll just stick with uh, these bad boys. Dude, this is so hard with this fucking tuberculosis. Okay, cool. No, wrong side, Arthur! This side! This side! There we go, okay, cool. 
Shotgun! Go! Fucking dumbass. Get into the boat. We're going to do it. God damn. Holy shit. I should have brought... Okay. Shotgun was a good choice for certain parts, but I should have just kept my repeater. I think the... Last time I took the repeater, and it was just like boom, 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 boom. Way better. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It's can still hand. Oh, he's got his beater yes. now. That's cool. Thank you. Keep them off us. I'm trying. Oh, <laughs> boop the nose. Fuck yes. That was good. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all dressed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Uh, hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm and... We ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so. Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought. I didn't realize that the first time I watched this game go through. It felt like he had a moment to do something, but he didn't. He was. I guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Yes, not. All right, so this should be the end of the mission here. Just a second.
Yeah, Dutch is very sus. And I might have said that because that might come up a little bit later. We might see something like that multiple times. Let's finish up the mission, and then it's the end of the stream, end of the night. Jilly didn't show up, but guess what? Jay showed up. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, Jay gets some sleep. Jay gets some rest. So yeah. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I will. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And Let's just finish the cutscene real quick. John brings the law <clears throat> down on all of us. What then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Goddamn tuberculosis. Goddamn. How <laughs> can you get some sleep? How can you get some rest? I think that means that she left but uh all right so i think that's the end of the mission they really want me to like wear arthur? arthur's hat right arthur oh sorry i was miles away thinking of uh <laughs> i don't know dutch said to tell you he and mike have gone to annisburg something about mr cornwall cornwall ah i know that mission thanks mary beth all right sweet Would you never have saved John if you didn't go with Sadie? What do you mean? Uh, was there like an option to wait like Dutch wanted? No, there was no option. I'm going to tell you this right now, Jade. Dutch is fucking crazy now. Like at the beginning of the game, he's uh, he's he's an outlaw, obviously. He robs people. He kills people, whatever. But he's like, you don't kill unless you need to kill. You know? You don't rob he's like Robin Hood in a way it's hard to explain but he at this point in the game he keeps saying I have a plan I have a plan but it's like what's the fucking plan dude it's like what John said he had an opportunity to save me but Judge Dutch did not save John and that's the issue uh, it's kind of hard to explain completely uh, with the amount of time that we have left but yeah the gist of it is that uh, Dutch has lost his way and we're watching him slowly unravel through the game. And he's very, very... Dude, if Dutch was a deck of cards, he's basically 52 pickup. Which means, like, it's all on the floor. You gotta fucking pick that shit up. Figure out where the fuck he goes. But yeah, there was no option to wait for Dutch to do his bullshit. It was literally, like, Dutch had no... The... the... What they're implying is that Dutch was never going to go save John. We saved John because we wanted to save John. Dutch was just like, he's gone, not worth it. Boom, whatever. Also, Micah, the crazy dude, was whispering in his ears, telling him to do crazy shit. But anyways, Jade, thank you for sticking around. Really, really, really do appreciate it. Hopefully, this is also a nice little cliffhanger for y'all guys. Thank you for everybody who joined. Also, I will talk to you in uh, private chats princess evil but uh yeah thank you so much for hanging out if you haven't hit that like button yet please hit that real quick if you're new to the channel if you don't mind subscribe i really do enjoy doing these streams and anyways i hope everybody has a fantastic night day morning evening wherever the fuck you're at just have a good one
Also, Jade, thank you so much for sticking around. <laughs> I had fun. Have a good night. Also, make sure your boyfriend goes to sleep tonight. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good one.